Hi everybody, just a very short video today to look at actually a couple of tools that will help us organize the geometry within our model, specifically when it comes to things like hatch and text. Now if you're like me, I'm sure we would all agree that when it comes to display order within our model, uh, things like hatch should always be in the back and things like text should always be in the front. And when that's not the situation, we've got to find a way to go through and address that or clean it up like what I have in my example here. Now, let me apologize for a lot of the pen weights and the circus type colors that I have, but I wanted to try and make it a little bit easier to visualize exactly what's happening here. I've got a lot of situations that would need to be cleaned up. I've got hatch over the top of text. I got hatch over the top of line work. Um, some of this hatch happens to be on locked layers. I've got text that's uh, almost totally obscured. All right, we'd like to correct this and I'd like to be able to do it in a way that I don't have to click on things individually or be unlocking layers and, and making adjustments. So this is actually one of those videos that it, that takes me longer to explain uh, how we'll fix it than, than it actually does to perform the fix. All right, to do it, there's just two simple commands. The first one, we'll type in hatch uh, to back for hatch to back and we'll go ahead and hit enter and it automatically takes all of the hatch within the model and it pushes it to the back. Not only what's visible on the screen, but anywhere in my model, you saw that even those air, air, even that hatch that was on locked layers, it was able to perform it on those as well. All right, at the same time, our other rule of thumb, we'd like to have all the text in the front. We can see that uh, that's not the case with, uh, with this text here. It's obscured by some of the line work. Um, and then even I've got a Civil 3D note here that's, uh, that's got a wipeout or some uh, fill behind it. It's, it's obscured that I can't, you know, see that through the line work. So I would, uh, just like we look at hatch to back, we've got a secondary command we'll look at is text to front. We'll hit enter. And now with this one, we've got a couple different options in case we want to treat different types of text differently. In other words, so maybe I'd like to treat dimensions differently than leaders or text. Or in my case, we'll just say, you know what, I want to move all the text to the front. So I'll just click on all and all of my text, even my civil 3D note object immediately came to the front. So within two simple commands, we're able to uh, conform to the rules we looked at, hatch in the back, text in the front, and uh, organize the data within our model. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.